trigonometric equations. Solve each equation on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. And we have 2 cos square minus 5 cos theta plus 3 is equal to 0. So as we've done before, we treat that cos theta is t. If I substitute cos theta t, then I have 2 t squared minus 5t plus 3 is equal to 0. And how can we factor this guy? 2t squared we can factor 2t and t. 3 we can factor uh, minus 1 and minus 3. So then we have minus 6 and minus 1 is minus 7. Or we can factor 3, minus 3, and 1 right here. Minus 3 and 1 right here. If I cross multiply, gives me minus 2t, and then minus 3t. So my first bracket is my first row. My second bracket is my second row. So this can be factored 2t minus 3 and t minus 1. Okay, now my t was cos, so I can write this down. I can write this down that this one is 2 cos theta minus 3, and then cos theta minus 1 is equal to 0. I substitute cos for t, cos theta and cos theta, and then I have this factorization. Okay, now once I have two brackets, I take each bracket to zero. So we have that two cos theta minus three we take to zero, and cos theta minus one we take to zero. Then we bring this over, so I have two cos theta is equal to three, and then I divide by two, divide by two, divide by 2. So cos theta is equal to 3 halves. Cos theta is equal to 3 halves. And similarly for this one, cos theta is equal to 1. So now cos theta is 3 halves. We check our uh, reference table. There is no 3 halves. So we get this from the graph. If I draw the graph of cos theta, Cos theta has the V-shape, 2 pi and pi. So cos is equal from 1 and minus 1. Cos theta has maximum value of 1, doesn't go to 3 halves. So for this case, there is no theta. No theta. Because the highest value is 1. For this case, we do have 1. Theta is 0 and theta is 2 pi. So the answer for this question is 0 and 2 pi. I have level 1, 0 and 2 pi. Example 2, example B, we have tangent square theta is equal to 3 halves secant theta. So first we're going to use trigonometric identities. We know, that, we know that 1 plus tangent square theta is equal to secant square theta. That's from trigonometric identities. So now I'm going to solve for tangent. So I bring this one over. So tangent square theta is equal to secant square theta minus 1. 
and now I can substitute for tangent square for tangent square so I substitute and I'm getting secant square theta minus 1 I'm substituting tangent square for my secant square minus 1 and now I have is equal to 3 halves secant theta quadratic equation bring everything on one side so I have secant square theta minus 3 halves secant theta minus 1 is equal to 0 and then I don't like fractions I'm gonna multiply each and every term times 2 I'm gonna multiply each and every term times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and times 2 each and every term I multiply times 2 because 2 is like 2 over 1 so then this 2 and 2 cancel out so what we have we have 2 secant square theta minus 3 secant theta minus 2 is equal to 0 0 times 2 is 0 and now as before I treat that secant theta is my t so I have 2t squared minus 3t minus 2 is 0. If you t treat that t is your secant square, then we need to factor quadratic equation. So this part can be factored 2t and t, and minus 2 can be factored 1 and minus 2, so 1 and minus 2. And then check when you cross multiply if that match your middle term. So 2 times minus 2 gives me minus 4t and 1 times t gives me plus 1t. So that gives me minus 3t. So minus 3t does minus 3t does match with the middle term minus 3t. So my first bracket is my first row, second bracket is my second row. So the first bracket is 2t plus 1, and second bracket is t minus 2 is 0. But t was secant. t was secant. t was secant. t was secant. So we need to write it down that we would have 2 secant theta plus 1 and secant theta minus 2. Okay? So my bracket, first bracket, is 2 secant theta plus 1 and secant theta minus 2 is equal to 0. Once I have brackets, I take each bracket to 0. I take each bracket to 0, so I have 2 secant theta plus 1, I take it to 0. And the second one, secant theta minus 2, I take it to 0. Bring this over, so we have secant theta is equal to 2. And solve it for this one too, so we have 2 secant theta is equal to minus 1. Divide by 2, divide by 2, this cancel out, so secant theta is equal to minus 1 half. If I would like to check my uh, my reference angle, I don't have secant theta, so we do need to we we do need to change secant to sine or cosine, and we know that secant is nothing else but one over cos. So we know that secant theta is 1 over cos so I'm gonna substitute 1 over cos theta is equal to minus 1 half and now to solve for cos you can either cross multiply and solve it for cos or you can just flip both fractions at the same time so if I cross multiply I'm getting minus cos theta minus 1 times cos is minus cos theta is equal to 1 times 2 is 2 divide by minus 1 so cos theta is minus 2 ok 
okay and the same situation I'm getting from here the same situation I'm getting from here so I have 1 over cos theta is equal to is 2 over 1 I cross multiply so I have 2 cos theta is equal to 1 divide by 2 so cos theta so cos theta is 1 half so cos theta is equal to minus 2 I draw my uh, graph of cos here is my 2 pi here is my pi cos is V shape cos has a V shape shape so uh, cos is maximum 1 and minus 1 at minus 2 there is no cos graph at all so for this case there is no theta no theta because on level 2 there is no cos graph and for this one we do need to use our reference angle reference table so let's make our reference table let's make our reference table here was theta sine theta cos theta and tangent theta first was 30 degree then was 45 degree and then was 60 degree okay and 30 changed to pi changed to 6 so this one is pi over 6 this 4 states 4 so pi over 4 and 60 is pi over 3 pi over 3 so it was how it was over 2 over 2 over 2 and on top it was 1 2 3 and we take square root square root of 1 is 1 square root and square root cos was from the back we write this from the back root 3 over 2 root 2 over 2 and 1 half and then tangent is this divided by this tangent is sine over cos tangent was sine over cos so one half divided by this one flip it over gives me one over root three gives me one and this gives me root three so now cos is equal to one half cos is equal to one half gives me pi over three pi over three so my reference theta reference is pi over 3 and now we need to complete depends on what quadrant we are in so we okay so now we are using our quadrant part add sugar to coffee so cosine is positive all positive in the first one and cosine is positive in the fourth one so I'm looking for this angle and I'm looking for the first angle so this angle if I know that my reference angle reference angle is right here pi over 3 so and I know that the full rotation full rotation is 2 pi 2 pi in terms of thirds 2 in terms of thirds is nothing else but 6 thirds pi okay so this angle is 6 thirds minus that 1 third gives me 5 thirds so theta is equal to 5 pi over 3 and the first angle was the same angle the reference angle which is pi over 3 so my final answer is pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. C. Example C.
we have cos squared theta plus sine theta is equal to 1. We need to uh, we need to have one and only one trigonometric functions. So we need to change cos squared to sine. And we know relation between sine and cos. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. Let's solve for cos theta. So let's bring the sine square over. So we have that cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus, and we bring this over, sine squared theta. So now I'm going to substitute for my cos square the formula what I just got it. So I have 1 minus sine squared theta, and then we have then we have plus sine theta is equal to 2, is equal to 2. Okay, quadratic function, I'm going to bring everything over. So I have uh, 1 minus sine squared theta plus sine theta minus 2 is equal to 0. Collect like terms, collect numbers. So 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So we have minus sine squared theta plus sine theta minus 1 is equal to 0. Now we do need to factor this. Let's divide by minus 1 each and every term because we don't like that minus right here. We don't like the minus right here. So divide by minus 1, divide by minus 1, divide by minus 1, divide by minus 1. So minus 1 and 1 cancel out. So we have sine square theta minus sine theta minus minus gives me plus 0 over minus 1 is 0. Now we need to factor this. If I try to factor if I try it, I can treat that this is my t square minus t plus 1. I have quadratic equation. I need to factor so t and t, and 1 is minus 1 minus 1. I cannot have minus 1 and 1. If I cross multiply, it's minus 2, and if I cross multiply, it gives me minus, minus 1, and minus 1 gives me minus 2. So there is no factorization. There is no factorization. If there is no factorization, we need to use quadratic formula that t x or t is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. That was the quadratic formula. So that t is equal to minus b. b is the coefficient by by the number, by the t, so it's minus minus 1, plus or minus square root of b squared is minus 1, minus 4 times a is the coefficient by x squared or t squared is 1, times c is 1 over 2 times 1. So if I want to solve this, If I want to solve this, this t is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1, and minus 4 is minus 5 over 2. Square root of a negative number does not exist in real numbers, so does not exist. So there is no t, and t was sine, so there is no there is no t, and the same way, no sine theta. So in other words, there is no solution. There is no solution.
couple more questions. So we have d sine theta is equal to sine theta is equal to cosecant square cosecant theta. Sine theta is equal to cosecant theta. So we need to change cosecant. Cosecant, we know cosecant theta is 1 over sine theta. 1 over sine theta. Okay, so I'm going to substitute. We do need to have one and only one function. So we will have sine theta is equal to 1 over sine theta. Multiply times sine theta. We would like to, uh, or cross multiply. This is like over 1. Sine theta is like over 1, and we can cross multiply. So we have sine times sine gives me sine squared theta is equal to 1. If we would like to solve it, if we would like to solve it for uh, sine, we need to take square root, square root of both sides. So sine theta is plus or minus square root of 1. Plus or minus square root of 1 is 1. So sine theta is plus or minus 1. So sine theta is 1 or minus 1. We get those values from the graph. Sine is the S-shaped. So here is 2 pi. Here is pi. So where is the sine equal to 1? and minus 1. 1 is right here, so this value is half pi. So theta is equal to pi over 2. And where is minus 1? The value minus 1 is right here. So this one is 1 and a half. 1 and a half is nothing else but 3 halves pi, 3 halves. And that's the solution. E, example E, cotangent theta minus 1 times secant theta minus 1 half. We have already in the factor form, so we don't need to, uh, we don't need to factor, we can already take each bracket to zero. We don't need to even change to one function because first you take each bracket to zero and then it will work right away. So we have take each bracket to zero, cotangent theta minus one to zero and secant theta minus one half to zero. So then bring this over. So we have cotangent theta is one. Cotangent theta is nothing else but one over tangent theta is one. 1 is like 1 over 1, so we cross multiply, so tangent theta is 1. Now we do need to look into our reference angle. Reference angle for tangent, reference angle for tangent equal to 1. Tangent equal to 1 is pi over 4, so theta reference is pi over 4. And then complete the chart. Tangent is positive, so we have add sugar to coffee. Tangent is positive in the first one and in the fourth one. So I need to find those angles. Okay, so for the first one we have the same reference angle, pi over 4. And for the third one is 1 pi plus fourth, plus 1 fourth. So, so we have pi is nothing else in terms of 4 is 4 over 4 pi. 
4 over 4 plus 1 fourth, this reference angle is 1 fourth, gives me 5 fourths. So we have 5 over 4 pi, or 5 pi over 4. And now the second one, we need to solve it, bring this over. So we have secant theta is equal to 1 half. Secant, we don't have reference angle for secant, so we need to change secant is 1 over cos is equal to 1 half. Then we can cross multiply, so we have that cos theta is equal to 2. Now check from the graph, we don't have 2 in the reference table. Cos is the v-shape, 2 pi and pi. So here is 1, here is minus 1. So we are looking at 2. Where is the value of the cos function at 2? There is no cos function at 2, so no theta. So the final answer for the whole question are those two angles, pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. Now we have example f, cos 2 theta is equal to minus 1. Cos 2 theta is equal to minus 1. So we get the reference angle where cos theta is minus 1. So I draw the cos theta as the v-shaped. Here is my 2 pi. In the middle is pi. So minus 1 is right here. So for pi. So we have 2 theta is equal to pi. And then we will divide by 2 and we get this. But this one is 2 theta, so I need to go 2 revolutions. I need to go further. I need to go up to this spot 2. So this one is 2 pi, this one is 3 pi, and here will be 4 pi. So I need to have the other one too, so it's going to be 3 pi as well. Okay, so now I divide by 2, now I can divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, so this cancel out, so theta is equal to pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, that's going to be my final answer. Whenever you have 2 theta, you go 2 revolution. Whenever you have 3 theta, you go 3 revolution. And why is like this? Because the cos 2 theta was squeezed. This is my cos function, and if I do 2 theta, I'm squeezing horizontally. So then the graph, this graph is cos theta. Then the graph of cos 2 theta will look like this. one is my pi, 2 pi, 2 pi, no, this one is my pi, and this one is my 2 pi. Okay, I squeeze it, I squeeze it, the cos function twice, so I have 2 This is my just pi at that spot down there. Okay? The function cos theta was squeezed. The function cos theta was squeezed. Was squeezed. So I have 2 revolution in 2 pi. So now if I check where is my cos equal to minus 1, minus 1 is right here. So that, that's this value and that's this value. So if here is pi, here's nothing else but pi over 2, and here's nothing else but 1 and a half. So this one is 3 pi over 2, and that's what we have for the solution. So this graph is cos 2 theta. This graph is squeeze it. This graph is squeeze it. We can see that 2 theta, I have one V-shape. When I squeeze it twice, I have one V-shape right here and another V-shape right here.
and that's why whenever we have two theta we need to go two revolution it's pi and then next time next thing is three pi and then we can divide by two to get the final answer and this is the explanation why it is like this Example G, we have sine, we have sine 2 theta plus pi over 4 is equal to 0. So if you look at transformations, this function will squeeze it twice and move it horizontally, pi over 4 to the left. That's using the transformations, right? So now I can take that this angle when its sine is equal to zero. Original sine curve, sine curve, original sine curve is like this, two pi, here is pi. So when is sine zero? At zero, at pi, and at two pi. So this angle, two theta plus pi over four will be equal zero, two pi, pi, 2 pi and because we have 2 theta we need to go one more revolution so we do need to keep going here would be 3 pi and here is nothing else but 4 pi okay so we have 3 pi and then we have 4 pi so then you solve them each and every one so I have 2 theta plus pi over 4 is 0, 2 theta plus pi over 4 is pi, I equal each to each and every one. Then I have 2 theta plus pi over 4 is 2 pi, 2 theta plus pi over 4 is 3 pi, and we need one more 4 pi. I will do the 4 pi at the end. So let's bring this over. Let's bring this over. So we have 2 theta is equal to minus pi over 4. Divide by 2. Divide by 2 or multiply times 1 half. Multiply times 1 half. Multiply times 1 half. Times 1 half. So this cancel out. So I have theta. I have theta is equal to minus pi over 8. But this solution is not in our range. From the very beginning, we had that 0 is between theta is between 2 pi. We want an all solution between 0 and 2 pi. So this one is out of our range. Now I'm doing the same for this one. 2 theta is equal to pi minus pi 1 fourth pi. 1 minus 1 fourth gives me 3 fourths, so 2 pi is 3 4 pi. This one is 1 minus 1 fourth is 3 fourths. And then we can multiply times 2, uh, divide times 2, or times 1 half. Times 1 half, because then 2 and 2 cancel out, so my theta is equal to 1 over uh, one times th one times three is three eight pi So now I will have this 2 theta plus pi over 4 is equal to 4, the last one, 4 pi, the last one, okay? So this, this one is 3, 8, so this is a good solution. Now I'm solving this one, move it over. We have 2 theta is equal to 2 pi minus 1 fourth pi. 
So two, we need to change in terms of force. Two in terms of force. So I have two theta is two in terms of four is eight. This one is like find the common denominator. Two is like over one. We need to multiply times four. We need to multiply times four. So we have eight fourths pi minus one fourth pi. Eight fourths minus one fourth. This gives me seven fourths pi. And now we need to, we have two theta is equal to seven fourth times one half times one half. So this cancel out. So my theta is equal to seven pi over eight. Seven pi over eight. The same we do on this one, bring this over. So we have two theta is equal to three pi minus one fourth pi. So three is like three over one, common denominator one and three is four. So this times four and this times four. So I have two theta is equal to three times four is 12 over four pi minus one fourth pi. Okay. so. 12 fourths minus 1 fourth, so 2 pi gives me 11 fourths pi. And now divide by 2 or multiply times 1 half. 1 half times 2 times 1 half. This cancel out. So I have that theta is equal to 11 pi over 8. That would be my another solution. And now I need to solve the last one. I need to solve the last one. I'm bringing over the pi over 4. So I have 2 theta is equal to 4 pi minus 1 fourth pi. Okay, 4 is like 4 over 1. We need to find co common denominator. One, 1 and 4 is 4 times 4 times 4. So we have that 2 theta is equal to 4 times 4 is 16 fourth pi minus 1 fourth pi. 16 fourth minus 1 fourth gives me 15 fourth. 2 pi is equal to 15 fourth pi times one half, one half times, times one half, two and two cancel out. So we have that theta is equal to 15 over eight pi. 15 over eight pi. So the solution are all, all th two, th three eight, seven eight, 11 eighths and 15 eighths.